This is purely an entertainment channel, not a how-to channel. I'm new to turning, so if you see something, say something in the comments below. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna make wood turning Christmas ornaments. This is nothing new. There's a lot of people out there that take urchin shells and put finials top and bottom to make Christmas ornaments. I have an assortment of urchin shells here. And I had glued up a, a number of pieces of wood, which I think will look really well in the finials that we're gonna place in them. This particular one is the off cut of the beer koozie. I'll link that in the corner there. This I think is gonna look really well. We're also gonna try and turn an inside out ornament out of this kiln dried hackberry. Uh, it's something I saw in a, another video on YouTube, I think is gonna turn out really well. It's an interesting design. You'll see me making that, hopefully. And I think there's enough here. We can also make a, a snowman ornament as well. So we're inside out and snowman out of this piece. And then we're gonna take this kiln dried ribbon sapili. And again, out of another YouTube video, which if I can find it again, I'll try and link it in the description below. We're gonna drill four holes in this and then orb the center and cut finials top and bottom from that and make one ornament from one solid piece of wood. I think that's the that's gonna be the real challenge of this, this whole thing. But we'll see where my failures begin and end. Let's get started. It was at this moment that he knew. Ah, crap. I screwed this up. I think this was supposed to maintain squareness. Just the cove gets cut. And you cut it in fours. And then you turn them inside out. Because now if you cut it in fours and glue it back, it's the same thing. And then turn it inside out. I screwed this up. This just became a finial for an urchin. But, I think the snowman's turning out all right. Summer's long gone, baby. The first snow is about to fall. Everybody's waiting for what's to come. We gather around the chimney, sitting close to keep us warm. The mistletoe is hanging at the door. Real quick intermission um, while I wait for this to heat up and glue on those finials. The end of the year is coming up, so I'm going to put together an end of season video highlighting all the projects and probably some of the bloopers um, and answer any questions you have. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. All right, thanks. Let's get back to it. Keep coming. 
assortment of Christmas ornaments, urchin shell with some solid pieces of wood on either side. The urchin shells look pretty good from afar, but far from good up close. There's some obvious things that I'm not going to point out because if you see them, great. If not, kudos to me. Um, definitely need more practice making finials because I'm not really, I'm new to it, so I don't, I think they turned out really well, but the ribbon sapili on the end is, looks really nice, but it's a pretty heavy piece. I might actually drill out the center of it so I can make it into a, a, a tree topper. And uh, second attempt at a snowman, this is an ornament, I have a hook on it. Uh, first one was made out of pine, this one was that uh, hackberry. I think it turned out really well. Uh, overall, I think all the pieces turned out well, even this curly maple with this inside out design that I saw online. I think this really worked out well. I don't know if I have a favorite really per se. I mean, the, the center piece here with the uh, beer koozie looks that Chatoyance looks really nice. That finial on the back looks fantastic. Um, yeah, I like it. I hope you liked it too. And you know what? We're coming up to the end of the season, the year. And I'm thinking about doing a recap of all the highlights for the year and answering any questions that you might have. So if you have any questions, I've had a few. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them in the end of year review. So thanks for watching. Drop a like if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for giving me a turn on your screen and we'll see you next week. Uh, as you saw before, I would oiled, oiled, oiled up a lot of wood. I oiled up all this wood. <laughs> Jesus. I'll take number one. Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're combining wood turning with Christmas. Well, if it's not enough, it a little really speak words out of mouth. <laughs> middle, middle, middle. Tongue twister. <clears throat> and particularly this one, I think is going to look good. It's part of that inserted uh, pieces of wood from that beer koozie. I'll link a description or link in the description and up in the corner which is it going to be the corner or down in the description or both come on figure it out <laughs> is going to have a hole drilled through it on all four sides and we'll make the orb out of that with fill 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 filaments filaments fill finials where did filaments come from This curly maple looks fantastic, and this inside out bowl, uh, bowl, ornament. <coughs> well, there you have it, assortment of urchin shell Christmas ornaments. Let's try that again. If you haven't already, and that notification bell, thanks for giving me a turn on your screen. A turn, a turn on your screen. Thanks for giving me a turn on your screen. When did I become Count Dracula all of a sudden? <laughs> uh, <clears throat>